Well, boys and girls, here she is. Back at home where she belongs. Safe and somewhat sound. So I, uh, talked to the son of the owner of the collision shop, and I know for a fact that, um, he works there and does work there himself. And, uh, we looked, we looked the truck over pretty good, you know, without taking anything apart. And, uh, he said really that, you know, this isn't that bad. So, <clears throat> that's a plus. We looked again today at the, uh, section of frame that I'm concerned about, and, uh, it really doesn't look that bad. I would say the radiator supports FUBAR. This is FUBAR for sure, which it was junk anyways. And, you know, I've got another one of these, and have to get a new fender, which <coughs> needs two new fenders anyways. And, uh, one tail light. I would probably be probably replace both because they both have cracks in them and uh, honestly driving at home the uh, the only thing I noticed is when I turned to the wheel it was all jittery but whenever I've had to move this truck in the past either well like when the fuel pump went or when I've ever had to have it towed and uh, like had the engine shut off while turning the wheel and just reaming on it, it's always screwed up the steering. And then it has to, like, through driving it, it works itself out. So, maybe that was... I don't know if uh, an insurance adjuster would move a vehicle and feel that and say that, oh, there's a steering issue, but... Um, you know, if that's what was thought, then that's perfectly understandable, especially if they don't know the individual vehicle. And, you know, that's when a mistake would be made. But I know my truck. I've driven it for almost 50,000 miles now. <laughs> so, uh, I know how it is. Now, he told me that for salvage inspection, um, I have to get an itemized list according to the insurance company of everything that needs to be fixed on it. So, like, this fender, for example, I would have to, if I replace it, I have to get a VIN number of the used truck, or of the truck that I got it off of, or show a receipt saying that I bought it brand new. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to buy them all, like, this new fender, that new fender, new radiator support, I've got it written down. It's like, uh, I don't know. It's like 200 bucks for a bumper and some other shit. So, like, it'll be a bit of money, but, you know, at least uh, I won't have to go through all the trouble of keeping track of VIN numbers and shit. So I'm pretty happy about that. This fender really isn't that bad for rust, but... If, uh, you know, the whole nose has to come apart anyways, and this fender probably has to be removed as part of that process, I might as well replace it. The, uh, the bed, I don't know if they counted this as <clears throat> part of the damage, even though this, because this dent here, this has been here since I bought the truck. Uh, it might be, oh, uh, well, I guess it's a little worse now. Because that's where the guardrail hit it. But, um, I guess really it's not that. I, I just hope I don't have to replace the bed. Because the cheapest bed that I've found for this truck in the best shape was $1,100. Hmm. So, uh, yeah. She's safe and sound and home where she belongs and hopefully uh, I get the option to buy it back if not well they're gonna have to come find it so 
Anyways, thank you very much for watching. Feel free to leave comments if you haven't. I'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye.